Catholic experience is different, and every queer experience is different. Every queer Catholic experience is different. And those can vary widely, either very positive or very negative. Um, this is just my personal experience as a queer Catholic. Military brat. My dad was in the Air Force. Um, we moved more or less every year for the first 14 years of my life. And it, you know, no matter where we were moving, generally the, the things I knew that were going to stay the same were uh, I had my family, uh, and we were going to get to mass on Sundays no matter what, and we were going to listen to NPR in the car. So the cool thing about that was I got the structure of the church. You know, the same readings, the same ritual, the same prayers, but, you know, everywhere I went, you know, new church, new art, new, you know, different stained glass windows, new people, and that really gave me a good uh, understanding of how diverse the church is. So another thing my parents made sure to do uh, was send us to Catholic school whenever possible. So my brother and I both went to um, Catholic high schools, which is also where I started to realize that I was not straight, which is an interesting place to do that. And, and before before that, I'd always, you know, n knew I was a little different, but I knew how, which was, you know, moving around um, and not, you know, oh, there's also something else different with you. I remember there was this journal entry from like my sophomore year. It was one place where we saw God and one place where we had, you know, failed to see God. And I was not very good at pointing out where I'd failed to see God, but I remember one entry um, was, oh, I'm so thankful for girls with low voices. And then the second part of that uh, was, you know, oh, I can't wait to meet who I'm gonna marry, who's probably a boy. And um, most straight people don't go probably a boy. It would kind of be a foregone conclusion. And I did not realize that until about another year later. But my, my mother had laid uh, really good groundwork because you know, she impressed upon me that you know, being gay is not bad, it's not wrong, it's not a sin. Um, so I ne was never laboring under that misconception, it, which also kind of led me, you know, sometimes in theology class and you talk about like the, the hypotheticals and, and I, I would stand up and be like, you know, what if, what if gay people aren't bad? What if they're not, you know, what if, what if being gay is fine? I didn't want people to think I was gay, especially because at that point, I didn't think I was. But that also gave me the courage to stand up because it was like, ah, I'm the good little street girl defending these people. It's much more alienating to be standing up for your own rights. So I was, you know, turning all these things over in my mind. Um, and then, you know, one night near the end of my junior year of high school, um, I was lying in bed, talking to God, praying, and all of a sudden, something just clicked into place. And I went, oh, I got this sense of overwhelming joy. And I felt like in that moment, praying to God, that God was overjoyed with me, was laughing with me. And that moment, I think really is what helps keep me Catholic because I can't separate that moment from myself or from who I am, God is happy that I'm queer. That was a joyful experience. You know, you, you can be mistaken about things, but I don't think you can be mistaken about joy. And kind of carry that, you know, going to college and seeking out other queer Christians. Um, and I was really lucky because my school had um, a Christian life community or a CLC that was specifically for LGBT Christians. Um, and I, you know, in high school, I'd known statistically, of course, there were other queer Catholics, other many other queer Christians, um, but being in a room with other queer qu Christians, queer Catholics, was a really uh, what Jesuits would call a consolation. It really helped me, you know, grow and, and st strengthen my faith. So being part of CLC was a really valuable experience to me. Um, it helped me, you know, grow my faith. And then it also let me see the experiences of other queer Christians. Not everyone in my group was Catholic, and some people were coming from faith traditions 
um, that were, you know, some of them were really accepting of uh, LGBT people. Um, and that was really interesting to me as a Catholic uh, because, you know, I've been Catholic my whole life. Uh, I was born early, so I was baptized basically immediately. Um, and then also in this course of doing some genealogy work for my family, um, I really got an appreciation of um, the kind of Catholic roots of my family, you know, and some ancestors fled the Irish famine and came over to America and some people fled Germany specifically because they were in an area where it was difficult to be Catholic. So, you know, have all these ancestors who I'm in this place because they wanted to be Catholic, among other, other things. Looking back and looking forward and understanding these parts of myself and how intertwined they are, you know, the way I like to think about it is if you planted two rose bushes next to each other and you let them grow, um, eventually they're so intertwined that you can't separate one without killing them both. And I think what I'd like people to understand is that, you know, I can't separate these parts of myself and I shouldn't have to. Thank you.